Hi everyone, I'm Robert Sinclair, Chief Executive of London City Airport. We're the smallest of the five London airports, but we provide vital business connections between the capital, the rest of the UK and also Europe. We're also seeing increasing numbers of leisure passengers and international visitors who are using the airport, benefiting from our very central location, our speedy service and our ease of use. Today we are launching a consultation on a new draft master plan. It's an overview of what the airport might look like over the next 15 years out to 2035. This means making best use of our existing infrastructure. The last time we prepared a master plan was back in 2006 and a lot's changed since then. Over the last five years, we've seen passenger numbers increase by more than 40%. And the population of London is expected to exceed 10 million over the next decade. In East London, we're seeing significant growth and regeneration, with more people, more jobs and more homes around the airport. We want to make our proposals as sustainable as possible in terms of noise, air quality and importantly, carbon emissions. We will not allow noisier aircraft to operate. We will also maintain the eight hour nighttime ban, which we know is incredibly important. We will also increase the level of sound insulation that we provide to local residents. And most importantly, remain within the existing noise contour that is currently in place. London City Airport is absolutely committed to minimising its carbon emissions. We have the highest level of public transportation use of any airport in the UK and we want to make it higher. London City Airport will achieve net zero emissions by 2050. We will also become a carbon neutral business by the end of this year. Our plans have been specifically designed to encourage our airlines to refleet to cleaner, quieter, new generation aircraft. London City Airport has a very strong track record of investing in communities, of supporting charities, of working with school children and creating opportunities for local people. And we also want to share the benefits of our growth with our local residents. We're undertaking a very extensive 12-week consultation in a range of venues in East London and also in Central London. We are seeking views on increasing the permitted number of flights, for some flexibility in the first and the last half hour of operations and at weekends, and also for some limited infrastructure development. Our plans will provide significant economic benefits. We estimate that over two billion pounds of value will be added to the UK economy. And this is delivered by creating more than 2,500 jobs for local people, by increasing the number of visitors to London, and also providing Londoners with more choice, both in terms of destinations within the UK and the UK regions, and also internationally. We forecast that by 2035, there will be demand at London City Airport for up to 11 million passengers. We are currently undertaking a four year, 500 million pound development program that's going to completely transform the airport. And whilst this development will change the airport and provide much needed capacity, it won't solve the long-term demand for air travel within London. Our consultation is open to the 20th of September and we really want to hear your views about London City Airport and the role that we can play both now and into the future.